Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome to Technolionics. And today I'm gonna show you how to use the Orchid Capture. This is a software by Cadence, and it's used for making electronic circuits on software. So this is a very useful software for electronic students, and to use it on Windows 8 is same as that of Windows 7. But uh, the thing is that on Windows 8 starts. Uh, it starts a little slow uh, it takes some two or three minutes to start but after that is exactly same as Windows 7 so we'll wait for that to start and till then I'm gonna explain you how and where it's used this software is used so basically Orchid Capture is a software where you know uh, you build projects in electronics you make circuits on board on breadboard but it costs it costs a lot and, and sometimes it costs you so much that uh, if your circuit doesn't work it hurts you a lot your money gets wasted so to overcome that this software has been created by cadence and uh, it's a very costly software but a crack is available and I'll be giving you the crack procedure in my future videos so subscribe this channel for future videos and all and the thing is this software is used to make the circuit exactly same as the original circuit and you can see the output waveforms along with all the uh, nature of waves the frequency response even in decibel you can also view the frequency response and so and so on so I'm gonna show you right now one of the features of Orchid Capture first of all uh, there is you can see over here a file view tools edit options window and help these are the tabs which are available over here and as I said the cadence option also the loading option has went and now we can start using it so I'm going to show you how to use the orchid capture so first of all you have to open the file you have to click on new and from new you have to go on project this is the name of the project that you will give to your file uh, for example demo 1 I am giving the name to uh, as demo 1 and then you have to click on then you have to select this analog or mixed uh, it depends on the what kind of circuit you want to make whether it's analog or mixed analog digital PCB wizard uh, or programmable logic wizard or sim schematic so now I'm gonna show you for analog or mixed AD so click on OK and it will show you this you have to you have to select you have to select analog GND symbol dot OPG OPG is the is the uh, is the file code for your or CAD the file of or CAD you have to create and as I had an earlier project on based on this so I'm creating on it once again and now it will load all libraries and all so it's loading it from here this window will open you have to click on your file schematic and page one now the now the window which is gonna appear is your breadboard it's the it's the part of the screen where you will mount your circuit this is the thing which I was talking about so let me show you it completely the other thing over here is the options which are available over here so I'm deleting this now in the rightmost corner yeah you can see this plus option over here you can see the place part option which is available click on that and you'll get this section you have to click on this add library and from this you have to do control A so that it will select all then control press the control button and select these two unselect these two folders because you don't want to load them this is basically all the parts libraries resemble a transistor or FET and uh, so on ICs and so on that is there in the orchid you have to load them up if I go for a simple BJT B C BJT B C five four seven B B I want B so B E bipolar 
I'm placing it over here so you can see it and then I'm taking uh, I'm taking a ground zero capsim okay I'm placing over here now I'm pressing the escape button to escape from this I can also type R and I can get R and lock this resistor R this is the uh, I'm basically constructing a basic R uh, CE amplifier now I'm taking the wires from there and I'm connecting all of them I must tell you it's a very very user friendly software and it's very helpful for those people who are building projects on electronics or those who are studying electronics electronics engineers it's a boon for electronics engineers so I'm doing this I'm carrying on carrying on this work and now as I can as I'm showing you I also select the capacitors this is the basically output capacitor this is the input capacitor take the wires I can join them up this is the bypass capacitor so this is a video which is, which is explaining you a basic C amplifier along with the main aim of the video of explaining you the orchid capture so I am explaining you so I'm, I have to give a D, uh, AC input voltage VAC source I'm taking it placing it over here I'm taking a VDC source and I'm taking it and I'm placing it over here now this is the VCC of my circuit I'm connecting over here I'm taking this and connecting to the ground so as you can see a basic C amplifier circuit has been created uh, one thing I have to give is the load resistance load resistance RL I have to connect it over here I connected again I have to connect it with wires ok so after doing this I have to give them some values say 15 volts uh, say 21 oh wait a second so, yeah say 21 kilo ohms say 3.3 k uh, let it be 600 ohms mm, let this be 2.2 k I'm giving them I'm giving them random values as I've not designed them mm, just to show it's just a sh it's just for a sh for you, I want to show you how it works. So I'm giving them random values. Let it be 560 microfarad. Let it be 56 microfarad. I don't care about that. Let it be 50 millifarad. And let this be 230 microfarad. It's my wish. I can give anything. One will stop me from that. Okay, so for VAC, I want to give an input voltage that needs to be amplified. If I give 1 millivolt, and I have to see the frequency I have to see the frequency response of this and I, from that I'll come to know that whether it's a good amplifier or not but that you have to create a simulation profile by clicking on, on this option new simulation profile give it a name demo 1 I can give again the same name demo 1 and then a bar will a window will open on that window you'll get multiple options now I am doing this on a frequency. Frequency response is basically done on a frequency. It's it's done on a frequency uh, similar graph paper on paper when you do it you do it you do it on a similar graph paper. So here also you have to select the frequency domain and for that you have to select this AC sweep noise. From there you have to select logarithmic. I'll select the start frequency from point one as logarithmic graphs don't start from zero. Then I can take it to 100 kilo ohms, uh, not 100 sorry, uh, up to 
uh, this this value it's a very large value and you take 10 points per decade I can apply them okay and the probes that's the most important part you have to take the probe input probe it's taking some time to load up yeah and this is the output probe so we are all done with it once again for safety precautions I'll save it and now we have to test our amplifier so I'm clicking on the run option yes and it's doing the procedure and now the real thing will come in front of me my result will come in front of me so you can see over here my input is 1 millivolt and I'm getting uh, an output of around it's nearly getting around 140 millivolt so it's very nice as I'm getting a 140 gain so that will depend on the on my requirements so here I have random I had randomly taken some values and I'm I just want to show you so over here you, you got this graph so this basically tells you that you are successful or not this is the main aim of orcad capture thanks for watching this video uh, subscribe this video subscribe the channel and please click a thumbs up if you like this video thanks again for watching techno